Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jim, and welcome to my uh, YouTube page. It's normally Jim's Holiest to Coleus, but uh, now I'm in the fall. I'm in between plantings, and one of my other great passions is cars and motorcycles. And uh, as uh, those of you who follow me uh, know, I have a Corvette, a 1987 Corvette, and I have a 2006 Yamaha Morphous um, Maxi Super Scooter. Um, but I wanted to make a, a video, a review, sort of a double review. Uh, this is my 2018 Cadillac XT5. Uh, I purchased her about um, 10 months ago, brand new. And I previously owned a 2012 Cadillac SRX, which the XT5 replaced. Uh, my 2012 SRX seen here I bought new as well and when the SRX first came out I was blown away it reminded me of one of those B1 stealth bombers the angles the different cuts um, I just was blown away and uh, it was out for a few years before I got a chance to purchase one so I did keep it for five years six years actually I really liked it and I wanted to keep it uh, but it was time uh, as I approached 100,000 miles on my SRX it was time to get into a, a new one and I, I really went back and forth on whether or not to get into these XT5s or go maybe into a 2016 um, 2016 SRX, a, a late model SRX, but I was like, oh, you want to go, um, although they did some improvements on the SRX, the interior changed, um, I decided after having a few of the XT5s as loaner cars while my SC SRX was being serviced, I, I really fell in love with it. At first I was like, eh, you know, because it's a little softer than the SRX, the SRX again had a lot of those B1 bomber angles, um, a lot of Cadillac um, angles and so forth. So when I first saw these, I was a little eh, taking it back, uh, but it really grew on me. And I'm going to get into the review um, as you know as we continue on. Um, do I miss my SRX a little bit? Uh, but in general. Across the board, the XT5 is a far superior car. Um, ride, handling, transmission, it, it's just a much better car across the board. Some changes Cadillac has made uh, along their whole line is they, uh, they got away, uh, away with their, uh, they did away with the crest and they uh, softened it up a little bit and now they just have the uh, this is their new crest uh, again uh, my, my SRX had a lot of chrome with the uh, of course the the crest emblem the, the Cadillac crest emblem that was almost like their moniker it's really hard to see it go at first but you know you like the, you know you hate to see things change but um, it, it was time and Again, um, they did away with the chrome, and now we have more of this polished, you know, this highly polished aluminum, silver, and it just goes well. Uh, I looked at so many colors, and you know, and is another drastic change I made was I always had black, black and chrome. I loved it, but when I saw this, try um, the the color is. Tri uh, titanium titanium diamond white titanium uh, metallic. It's a, a beautiful color that court, uh, that Cadillac has come out with. Uh, there is a very popular color, and it's just the contrast between the the dark, you know, the black, the gray, and the white. It just I really fell in love with it, and honestly. This car always looks clean. This color always looks clean, even when it's dirty. It just always looks clean. Uh, you know, with the, the black tires, the trim, the contrast just looks great on it. And I, I did the, I put this 
gray metallic pinstripe along the top or the you know the the crease edge of the door running down the side just to enhance the line of the car and I did this also with my Corvette and my SRX um, Cadillac I believe put the pinstripe up here on some of them a very thin pinstripe but I, I find that this is a much better spot it just enhances the line and the slope of the car and it really and I did this this is a, a four dollar pinstripe and just follow the line of the crease I also put some carbon fiber door handle inserts just to break it up a little give it a little contrast to enhance it make it my own and of course the bottom that's standard just the matching polished trim uh, the SRX had a round um, exhausts they did the flattened exhausts out on here I got the push button tailgate which is real handy and as you can see there's the crest uh, polished aluminum you know it's not dull it's not as bright as it's not chrome it's just a nice high polished um, aluminum it looks very nice Especially with this white, this titanium white diamond, white diamond. It, it's it's an a it's an optional color. I think it was eleven hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars. And with it came the um, camel interior with uh, the contrasting nice uh, leather, black leather trim and. The wood simulated wood uh, three-quarter both seats fold down I uh, just just for purposes of showing you I, I folded this one up and this comes in really handy let me open this up with my coleus plants because I fit when I fold both these seats down which I'm gonna do right now just to show you I'll see my front seat might be blocking it it is but with both of these seats folded down you can fit an awful lot of cargo in here I mean I, I don't use this as a work vehicle but I picked up um, two by fours um, half weight you know half pieces of sheet of uh, plywood I've cut in half I just protect it uh, now there's another option that I got with this uh, besides the carpeting mats, uh, it came with these Weather WeatherTech style protecting floor liners. And uh, I got the full size spare under here. Which I did not have on the SRX. It's kind of neat, but it's a full size spare. Put that back. The uh, power lift gate is a really handy thing. You can go half, press it again, and it'll stop. Or you can use the remote. Back up it goes. Gas tank. Driver's side, no cap, which is really neat. You have to worry about the attendant for getting your cap. I think more and more cars are getting that. As Cadillac and some of these higher-end cars... Start setting the standards. So there again, the extra weather textile mats on top of the carpeted mats that came with the car. Uh, so these were an option. I think they were like a hundred bucks or something. I, again, I love the pinstripe. It's a it's a really nice. It's a little thicker. I didn't want. I was going to put a thin. I actually did put a thin thinner. A eighth inch stripe um, I did one side and I put this on this side and I like this better so I uh, I went with the, the wider 
Again, it's the camel interior with the wood, the simulated wood. I, I, uh, I had a 20, a 2001 Ford Explorer Sport Track, uh, green with camel leather, um, cloth interior. Not much for light color interiors, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I, I wipe it down. I keep it clean. I really take good care of my cars. I'm, I'm, I'm on the far end of the spectrum. Um, I treat all my cars like show cars. It might be at my daily driver or my Corvette. I treat all my cars like they're show cars. These are too expensive to uh, destroy. I don't see smoking and flicking ashes and leaving soda bottles and McDonald's food wrappers thrown in the back and dis disrespecting. I, I'm, I'm very particular with my cars. And when it comes time to hand this in, it pays off because I get, I, I really get a good trade-in value towards my new one. Um, now, going back to the comparison between, you know, if you were deciding to get into an SRX, say a 2016 SRX or a 2017 or 2018 XT5, why... Why should you go with the XT5? Um, I think the my, the main the main thing that I'm impressed with this car, and I am I really am happy. This and I've had lots of cars over the years, new ones. This is by far my favorite car I've ever owned. I'm more impressed with the performance, but comparing it with my SRX, which was my first new Cadillac. Um, this XT5 feels like an Escalade. It feels like a big truck, but not messy. It, compared to the SRX, it handles more, you feel more sure in it. It has um, a much better transmission. The SRX has a six-speed transmission, and as I show you here, had the switch on the dashboard that you had to put it in overdrive which is a real pain in the butt but it just when you when you went to go merge on the traffic it sounded like a four cylinder it really did this eight speed automatic automatic overdrive automatic transmission is much better it sounds a lot better it's a much quicker engine it's the same engine it's just it's a much better transmission and it it really handles, it's a solid, quiet car. My SRX was pretty quiet, but this is the next step up. This XT5, they really did a nice job. Um, I highly recommend it over the SRX, although if you were to go into an SRX, you would not be disappointed either. Um, just doing a double comparison. I'm doing a review of this car and at the same time again, a comparison between the SRX for for those of you who are saying or maybe on the fence which one and sometimes it goes right down to what the looks are I mean looks are a big thing I mean the SRX again was more like the stealth bomber had sharper angles and everything this is a little beefier has a more aggressive stance it seems like it's just a beefier more of a truck look to it um, but it doesn't drive like a truck. It, it, it just, I'm just trying to get, give you a good descriptor. When I drive this, I feel like I'm in a solid, well-built vehicle. <clears throat> I'm really impressed with it. Um, it's a nice size leather steering wheel. I didn't get the top of the line. I don't need a sunroof i have the corvette which which has a target top so i really didn't need i didn't need um the top of the line um cadillac xt5 there's so many different packages you can get uh, but this is a nicely equipped power steering obviously power brakes um power windows power front seats front and rear i did not get the heated seats um it's got push button start. It's got a nice digital display. And it has a number of let's see if we can get a uh, 
gives you a number of information, tires, um, here's your um, full display, XM radio, I uh, have an iPod in here. Uh, your air conditioning controls here you got all your controls basically cruise phone disconnect speak um, all your Bluetooth settings here volume all your basically all your gauge um, information you can get to with your uh, your ergonomics here um, again an XM radio go home we got OnStar navigation text all your climate controls here um, if you want you go back there's your regular digital clock or your analog clock if you want with the date um, info on your Cadillac marketplace books people it is iHeartRadio um, it's I have a, a Galaxy S9 plus phone uh, and Android Auto hooks in perfectly works perfectly in here it's got a slide in um, charger for your phone if you have a phone that has the uh, wireless charger the Q charger just slides right down here and your phone charges you see a little icon pop up here with the phone telling you it's charging uh, negatives um, is when you when you have the air conditioning on or whatever you, ha you have to, 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 to change any of this here. You have to touch this to get it up here. Otherwise, it, it goes back to your regular um, display. So whatever you want to do, you I mean, besides from changing the thing, but to put the air conditioning on and off, you have to hit the, the fan button, lower the fan, so forth. But all of this, you know, all the controls are pretty set in front of you. It's good at ergonomic design. Uh, it's got a nice, um, sort of sporty, reminds me of the Corvette, perforated leather dash. It's just a nice contrast with the camel. And again, just to make, um, to give it a little sporty look, give her, uh, give it my own, I bought these two, a uh, few aftermarket carbon fiber um, stick-ons. Just a couple. They sell uh, carbon fiber trim pieces for almost everything in here. I didn't want to go crazy. I mean, they got, they have it for everything here, here. I mean, it's just crazy. So I just put one on the on the steering wheel. It's a nice touch. It's nice and simple, clean. Just makes it my own. Um, this is a, a big neg. I want to say a big negative, but this is a negative, and I think a, a lot of the cars. This is not just Cadillac, but then a lot of the cars are getting into this. Is these these electronic um, shifters automatics, uh, as opposed to the old days where you had the shifter up here or the shifter here where you're going manually, physically going boom, boom, boom. You know you're in drive. You know you're in park. You know you're in neutral. Um, here it's all push button. Um, reverse. You got to press this little button here on the side. It's kind of awkward. And there's a, your backup display. It's a nice clear color. Um, drive, you got to push the button and push it back. You're in drive. It's got the manual sporty with the shifters, the little paddle shifters, which I think are ridiculous. I mean, it's so stupid. If you want to get an auto, I mean, it's a Cadillac. I don't drive it. I, that's me. I just, I think it's ridiculous. So I don't, I don't, I never use that. Um, but again, reverse is over, park. And, and you know it's just sometimes you, you you like you feel like you might like so you know you like you put your on your hand on here you're afraid sometimes that you might inadvertently press down on the parking button while you're driving and you're like you you're in the back of your mind you're like oh and you you you're, you're maybe cruising on the highway and you're not paying attention you know you're paying attention you know, you're listening to music and you 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 know like this with your hand you, it's like what happens if you hit that button I think it's just a bad design and um. For those of you who are Star Trek fans, the newer Star Treks, the uh, actor, I don't, I can't think of his name, who plays, um, who, who plays uh, the engineer Scotty, he died, uh, he got crushed to death by his own Jeep 
uh, for something similar to this, where he parked his, he pulled his car into his driveway, which is up on a slope, and got out to go close his steel, his gate, and he pressed it. He thought it was in park or neutral uh, or park, and it wasn't. And he got out and he went down behind the truck, and it rolled down onto him and, tr and killed him. So I just, again, I, I, I don't, I don't like these. Um, you know, I, I just don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just hoping maybe Cadillac can come up with a little something different than this. Um, the, the design of this and, again, the electronic push-button aspect of it. I just, I don't like this push-button park. Uh, I just don't like it compared to the SRX. Um, uh, got this another, I think, thing is ridiculous. I mean, the traction control... Which is, I don't touch it. I keep the traction control on at all times to really have this big button right in the center. I mean, right at, in, on your console, this big thing. It was really unnecessary. Uh, I mean, I, I could have found a, a, you know, a million things. And that's, compared to the SRX, that's where the Echo, you know, the overdrive button was. So, I, I just think uh, they could have put it, this in a different spot. We really need this big button. And again, I, I think there's other options that maybe would have gone there uh, with the premium gold package XD5, which I did not get. But um, but you know, what, what it is, it's, it is what it is. So uh, it's got a nice little closure here. Uh, here's your cup holders. You've got two of them. Um, console. Here's your again. Here's your sliding charger. You got um, you got some. Uh, ports for your USB and stereo uh, the mini jacks there you got two USB and a mini jack uh, regular standard traditional glove box uh, make sure it's in park and then down below which is different compared to the SRX down here you got another um, nice little storage area so it's it's pretty it's a pretty nice interior design Overall, I, I'm happy with it. Like I said, the only thing I'm not happy with, which I wouldn't mind seeing Cadillac change, is this the shifter. But everything else is really nice. Uh, you got a sunglass um, storage up here, which the SRX did not have. There's all your OnStar emergency buttons, uh, rearview mirror, obviously. So some they're nice leather seats. They're not cheap. They're they're thick. They have a nice feel to them. Nice little, you know, crest. Power uh, mirrors, power uh, locks. You can control this. The, there's all different things you can. You could change a lot on the menu. Uh, opening mat. You can actually open up your all your windows with your remote. Um, stereo, all that. Uh, difference. In, as far as the aesthetics of the engine, the SRX had the complete coverings, so it kind of looked neat. But I think the mechanics probably hated that because you had to take all that shrouding off to get to the car engines if you had to do some maintenance. So um, I don't know if it did any good as far as keeping the engine clean. Maybe that's a good plus with that. But other than that, that's the big difference as far as looks. It's the same type of engine. The V6 VVT, so it's peppy. It's got plenty of power. Um, another major improvement the XT5 has over the SRX. The SRX, my 2012 SRX, had terrible headlights. Now this is the same type of headlight, but the major difference is these long side LEDs. The SRX had two little ones and just this. And there were times where I had to turn the lights on and off to see if they were on. If they were just terrible. At night, you can almost not see. They were really, the SRX had a terrible, had terrible headlights. This is much improved. You, although these are the same bulbs as the SRX, this complete LED run here really looks beautiful and lights up the road really really lights up the road compared to the srx so 
It's very quiet. The engine's very quiet. Close that. Um, again, uh, when I looked at these, I, I looked at the black and so forth. I didn't want to get black. I had the black SRX. I had the black Corvette. Uh, but really, I looked at every single color. And again, when I first saw this iridescent tri-coat tri um, metallic white, I fell in love with it. I just loved the contrast. Um, and again, it's just a, it's a much beefier, um, I believe it's a wider stance than the SRX. It's a little, a little wider stance. Still has those, I always say the Cadillac, like the, the wings, they still, the SRX had the wing, you know, not a wing as much as the, the tail light design, but it's, if you look at it, it's sort of like a wing. So that's the Cadillac tradition continuing as best they can without being obvious. So, um, let's try to close, close this, this hood. But again, it's a, it's a far better um, than the SRX. Uh, you SRX people out there are going to get mad at me saying I'm bashing the SRX. So I think I can because I owned it. Obviously, I had it for six years. But I don't regret it. I didn't trade the SRX in for this because I didn't like the SRX any longer. It was just time to get into a new car. And I didn't want to get into the same model. And again, uh, having driven these a few times for loaner cars, I was pretty impressed with them. I got the um, the uh, bright alloy metallic wheels, four-wheel disc brakes, Michelin premium LTX tires, very quiet. Again, it, it's a great handling car. That's my, my main the main thing that impresses me with this car, which is why I love to drive it, I, when I'm in it, I feel safe. I, it, it just feels solid. It handles. You, you know when you're on the highway and you and all of a sudden, you know you you get a you're in one of those sneezing fits and you're like, oh my god, this is terrible. Uh, I'm doing 80, 70 miles an hour and I'm doing a sneezing sneezing fit. You, you don't have any worries when you're driving this because it handles. It just sticks to the lane so well. The steering is responsive, but it's not sloppy and over responsive. And with the collision avoidance, it's really good. You know, if somebody's on your right pulling up, you get the light on your mirrors that shows that there's a car. Over here, you get a light. That's an option. Um, but it's that's the main thing with the X-T5. What, what I'm really impressed with this is just how well it rides, drives, performs, how it feels. It's like a slot car. You feel you really feel like once you're in it, it just, it, it really is that impressive. So I highly recommend um, getting into one of these, whether it's a new, buy, lease, used, um, pre, you know, um, a luxury, you know, premium um at a cadillac dealership i highly recommend the cadillac xt5 again this is a 2018 they came out in 2017 i don't believe they made many changes between the two years um again that's another thing i, I failed to mention this has as do a lot of cars now because again a lot of the higher end cars are are starting starting the, the mark making the mark uh is the auto start uh, the auto stop if you come to a stop the engine shuts off um, and then when you lift uh, when you hit the gas it starts back up again to save gas and so forth it's a little awkward but um, it's it's a nice feature um, and uh, I haven't had any problem with it so that that was at first I didn't like it but you, you kind of kind of like it when you're sitting in traffic or, or, or if you're at a drawbridge, I live by the ocean. We, we got drawbridges everywhere here. And in the summertime, it's like sometimes you spend your life waiting for the bridges to go up and down. So it's really helpful. So 
I hope this review helps. Um, again, I, as much as I love my 2012 SRX, um, I'm into almost a year now with my XT5. I have another two years on the lease. And uh, my God, I, I just almost want to buy it at the end or maybe get myself into another new one as I get attacked by a bee here. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I hope this review helps. And uh, if you're not a Coleus fan and you're a car fan, motorcycle fan, uh, just subscribe along because uh, in the off season I do some uh, some car reviews. All right, thanks for following. Uh, enjoy the fall and Halloween, Thanksgiving, and have a good weekend. This is Jim from Jim's Holiest of Coleus.